Hey guys, Chris here, and we're going to do a, t a tutorial, sorry, um, on how to mount your hard drive or your old image backup to your Windows PC. So, uh, I had my computer broke down uh, a couple of weeks ago. I had created a backup of my hard drive onto my portable hard drive, uh, a, a VHD file, I think it was, and I, I didn't know how to access it at all, and I couldn't find any help. So I'm hoping. That this video will help you people out there that are maybe or have maybe experienced the same problems as me. So I'm going to go into my computer and I'm just going to plug in my portable hard drive just now. Um, unfortunately, you can't hear the system sounds. I've got no idea how you do that in Camtasia, but uh, oh well, that was a beep there. So there's my portable hard drive. I'm going to go into that. Uh, my Windows image backups. What Christopher's HP? back up and I know that one there is my actual full Windows backup of all the system files and stuff and as you can see it's a VHD file I almost forgot what it was earlier and it's 129 gigabytes so uh, pretty big and the program that's meant to be run off is some Oracle program but uh, I don't think that works at all it might but I couldn't work it uh, so how to mount that to your like computer thing here so go type into your start menu disk management oops and it will be the f should be the first one this one here so you click on that and it might take a few seconds to load but once it comes up that's it uh, so what you have to do is go to actions and attach VHD and it'll ask you for your location so that's just where I found that file in my hard drive, so I'm just going to go back here to show you. There's my hard drive there, Windows image backup, my HP backup, and as I said, it's the middle one. And as you can see there, it is the one with the large file size, so double click on that, and OK. And you'll hear a noise as if you've just like plugged in a USB cable again, and I'll show you another disk here, and all that, so I can come out of that just now and no, I don't want to scan it and fix it so I'll go back into my computer and as you can see now I've got another local disk and that is my old files so you get user, me and that's absolutely everything that I had on my old computer so if I go back to that menu and go into my current computer you can see the files are pretty much the exact same uh, well, not the exact same, obviously it's two separate <laughs> computers, but you know. Um, same layout, I could go into that, users, there's me there, users, and that was my name by the computer, I don't know why I'm called user there, but if I wanted anything of this, let's just say college stuff, uh, psychology, uh, let's say my forgetting essay, oops, I'll copy that. Like that, right click, paste. And easy as that, that's the file from my old hard drive on my desktop, you can do what I like with it, and it will still be on there. I'll show you so. how to take off the. Uh, so just go back into the bit you were at before, I'll load again, and maximize that. So if you want to disconnect this, I, I wouldn't advise you just plug it straight out your computer because. You could lose files that way, so you just right click in the grey box to the left of that like, tells you how much you've got in it and click in detach VHD and when it says delete the virtual hard drive disk file after removing the disk, do not tick that unless you want to delete absolutely everything in your backup, so make sure that's unchecked. Uh, so just press OK to that and you'll hear a noise as if you've just unplugged your USB cable and back into computer and as you can see it's not there anymore so and I've still got my hard drive go back into my as you can see it's still there so hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and I'll hopefully upload some more videos and tutorials and stuff but for now I'm off so I'll catch you guys later on